quick tip. Hello, and welcome back to the Star Wars Holiday Special, also known as I show you how to animate in with Toon Boom. Here we go, it's a quick tip. Uh, so I made a video about masks and whatnot, uh, and I'm just going to go into a little bit more detail in the second half of that video, which was about using masks for shadows. Um, so I'm just going to go through the same thing that I did in that video, but from the start, because apparently it wasn't clear enough. Ugh. Um, okay, so basically I'm just going to draw a really quick um, animation here, and then I'm going to go back in and put shadows on it using a mask, or a cutter, as Toon Boom likes to call it. Um, if you haven't seen that video, I'd recommend going back and watching that one first. I'll put a link to it in the description, maybe an annotation on the screen if I can remember. Um, but I'm going to start by just creating a new drawing layer. Um, and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw some crazy scribbles like this. So you're just going to draw a bunch of scribbles. Uh, put them in the oven, wait about 20 minutes and, or until they're golden brown, um, and then take them out. And here's one that I've prepared earlier. Um, so it should come out looking like this, approximately. Um, if your drawing doesn't end up looking like this, uh, no worries, it's probably just because your parents don't love you. Um, so just keep trying, uh, or until you give up and just decide to eat your feelings instead. Um, and we're just gonna move right on from here. So basically I just have this basic quick animation of me tapping my finger. Full disclosure, I did uh, basically just rotoscope this from a video that I took of me tapping my finger because I can't be asked to do an actual animation full from scratch just for a goddamn tutorial. Uh, I'm also noticing right now that I missed a spot right in here, so I'm just gonna fix that. Okay, there we go. So I have this really quick animation of me tapping my finger but now I'm realizing, wait a minute, I want to put some shadows on here. And I didn't do it while I was animating it, so I need a way to go back in and redo it. So, all I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new color. I'll make it kind of like some kind of purplish blue thing. Uh, and I'm going to take the op or the alpha, which is basically the same as opacity uh, in a lot of other programs. I'm also going to desaturate a little, uh, desaturate it a little bit, and let's see how that looks. So if I do a new layer here and call it shadows, and then do that, fill it in then go into this view, we'll see how that looks. And that actually looks pretty good. Uh, I'm just gonna fiddle with it a little bit more. I might make it a little bit more blue, and a little bit darker, and a little bit less saturated. Or a little more saturated, I don't know. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay, so I have my color set up here. I'm gonna delete that drawing. And then all I'm gonna do here is I'm just using the brush tool and I'm not gonna worry about the edges or anything I'm just gonna draw in some rough shapes just like this of where I think the shadows would be falling um, and I'm keeping in mind where I think the light is coming from so in this case I'm imagining a light coming from up here and a little bit behind. So it's casting, it's gonna be casting shadows on the front 
in the bottom of everything. So I'm just going to delete that. And I'm going to do the first frame live and then I'll speed everything else up. So I'm just going to come in here. And do this. Just filling in these shapes, not worrying about the outsides whatsoever. And, oops, hold on. This is the only issue. If, if you do have inside lines like this inside a drawing, uh, it makes it a little bit more difficult. So, if there are a lot of inside details for the thing that you're drawing, this technique might not be the best way to go. But if it's just a simple shape, uh, it's very quick and easy. So I'm just going to extend this frame because I'm animating on twos for this, and then I'm just going to go through here and finish up the rest of this, and I'll speed it up. And we're back. So I've just gone in and done all those shadows. So now what we have is this little animation. And it looks pretty good with the shadows, except, of course, all this crazy shit going on here. So we have to get rid of that. And that is fairly simple to do. So these are my two layers here. I have the drawing, which is the basic animation, and then I have the shadows. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to select all of the uh, drawings from the drawing layer. I'm going to copy them, Command C. I'm going to make a new layer, and I'm just going to call it, it doesn't really matter what it's called, but I'm going to call it uh, Mask add and close and it's gonna be yeah this is perfect just on top of that one and I'm gonna go on this first uh, layer not layer uh, frame here god I just forgot the word frame for a long time and I'm just gonna paste all of that so now I have two copies of this same layer here just duplicates and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my shadows layer. This is the layer that I want a piece to be cut out of. So I want all of this to be cut out. So I'm gonna go onto this shadows layer. I'm gonna click this button here, go down to effects, add a cutter. So now you see it adds this little cutter thing down here. I'm gonna press the plus button on there. And I'm gonna take my mask layer and drag it right onto where it says drop layer here. So the reason I have two versions of that, uh, that first layer is because one of them is just the drawing, and then one of them is the mask that's cutting a piece out of the shadows. So what you'll see now we have... Hang on, that's not right. Because what's happening now is it's using that mask layer and it's cutting out everything inside of it. So everything inside the hand here is being cut out. That's the opposite of what I want. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to come in here to the cutter, I'm going to right click on it, and go up to layer properties, and I'm just going to press inverted. So now what it's doing is it's cutting out everything outside of this mask layer. So everything out here is being cut out, and all we can see are the pieces inside. So now we have this. And that's the whole thing. So thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions uh, or any suggestions for more videos that you would like me to make, uh, go ahead and leave them down in the comments. Um, there haven't been a lot of videos recently. That's just because uh, school is really ramping up. It's the last couple weeks before the end of the semester. Uh, but hopefully I'll be getting back on it pretty soon. 
and I'm actually just about to start a new Game Grumps animated, so look forward to that sometime in the future. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.